And this chicken uh, waste droppings, here, yes. droppings, mm. how long will it take for it to produce, to start producing the gas? After putting in these droppings, it, yeah. take, it takes like 20 to 30 minutes to produce gas which, can, which, we, which we can use for over four days. Wow! Wow! Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Wow! This is the gas we use for building wow. as you see. Wow. So it lights like this yeah. all, all night long. Yes, it can. Wow. You can see even other stoves there. So these are the stoves. You are the stoves yes, wow. which provides it during the brooding period. Wow. This farm produces uh, a lot of chicken manure. In there, there are more than 5,000 layers okay and there's something you have to do with this manure to prevent uh, the air pollution uh, just you know uh, waste management here we're going to be told or shown the best way to handle this uh, chicken manure and even value add manure wow that is incredible mm. we are again in Musingi farm in Uganda the pearl of Africa yes. Mr. Patrick mm. Take us around now. Okay. Yeah. You're welcome. Sir. Yeah. This is the there are two main ways yeah. of, of controlling the wastes at yeah. the farm. Yeah. And those are the by use of a solar dryer yeah. and use of a biogas. Yeah. So I'm going to first show you the biogas. biogas. Now this is the all of this one is our biogas section. Yeah. This is our cellar repeat. Yeah. Where your water comes up there yeah it come it 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 flows into those channels yeah and comes here in here in he, in, in there yes. wow okay mm. wow in here you've got 5000 laying chickens chickens yes wow incredible and they are produce they are producing a lot of wastes yeah so we put some of the wastes in our bio 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 digester yeah so that so that they produce for us energy which which we use for cooking cooking yeah wow and this now. is how we do it uh-huh so these are the droppings yeah uh -huh. from the production house yeah we put them here mm. and we mix mm -hmm. after mixing they produce they they pass through different channels yeah the biodigester yeah and then they produce gas yeah which gas we use for cooking wow so how, how when 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 he's put now this chicken yes and this chicken uh, waste droppings, here yes. droppings mm. how long will it take for it to produce to start producing the gas after putting in these droppings it, yeah. take, it takes like 20 to 30 minutes to produce gas which can which we which we can use for over four days wow so they put now they put they, it they put water water and we start mixing ah like now you start mixing yeah we start mixing it like this wow wow pull on pull on pull on pull on pull on pull on Wow, you mix it so you mix it until it's uh, slurry like and it flows yes, out. Yes, yes. So, after so mixing it after there, mixing it, we open we open here. Oh, and then it, it goes, goes, it flows out and flows out and it goes to the, to the chambers. To the chambers, yes. Wow. Wow. Yes. So after then, there, yeah, uh -huh. pass through these chambers mm. and goes here, where it produces. Now here there is here there is something. Does it pass here? It passes here or? Oh wow wow wow! Is it passes through here? Yeah, it passes through there. Uh -huh. Here. Here. And then it enters. Here. We, we wow. Have, we have two chambers. This one and the other. The one. other one. Yeah. So what is the purpose of the two chambers? We, the purpose of those two chambers is to, to make it big so that it produces enough gas which we can use for both 
brooding uh, and cooking. Oh, so this gas, yeah. this gas, this is where you store the gas yes, also. This is where we store it. And the gas has two main purposes for the farm. Yes. To cook and brooding. And brooding. That is providing energy. Brooding is where the chicks are. Yes. So heat. Yeah, they, it provides wow. heat to the day one chicks. Wow, Today amazing. We, yeah. Amazing. Should we go see how so it comes here? Yes. What is this first? This this one it is a meter which measures it. Now we have over like we have a gas of over like like nine. Nine? Yes. Nine. Wow. What, nine like uh, in, that is the pressure now. That is the pressure, yes. Wow, amazing. And this one we can use it for for like three days. Three days, three, nine. Three, yes, without putting in again. Wow. Let's go see how it lights. Yeah. Do you want to see how biogas lights? <laughs> come, come, come. This is amazing. Mm. So now after they finish with there, after finishing there, the, the water comes, the, after secreting themselves there, yeah. the water comes in here, Yeah. this one, and go to the ciliary pit. The ciliary pit? Yes. Ah, mm. and how do you get it out from the ciliary pit now? The ciliary pit, usually we, usually we, we, we pour it out. Yeah, okay, okay. But now when it comes to the ciliary pit now, it's mm. like done manure. Yes, it's done. Done manure. Now, yeah. I, I think that also is good for farming. Y yes, it is. Ah, wow. Yes, it is. That yeah. is incredible. Mm. And look at this farm. You also have like, this is where the offices are located. This, yeah, this is where the offices wow, are located. Wow, it's so pretty. And where our boss stays. And st uh, where your boss stay yeah. and uh, staff also? No, it's his yeah, home. Yeah, no, it is home. Wow, it's so good. I'm loving this. Yeah. You guys come to the kitchen. So here you cook with gas. Yes, we use gas to cook. Wow, so that is saving you a lot of it expenses. Saves, it, it saves us a lot of expenses and even controlling the deforestation. Wow, because, because we, oh, we, we no longer here buy hey, charcoal. Charcoal and firewood again. Yes, you can see here. Wow. Using, using that Oops, sorry. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Look at that! Wow! So that is the gas from the chicken droppings. Wow! Yeah. And it's cooking really well. We're yeah. having meats there, we're having everything cooking. Wow! Amazing! Real gas from chicken manure. This is incredible. These ones, they, they can be used for keeping broilers and yeah. at the same time keeping the chicks when, when they are day one old. Wow. Yeah. So when is the time uh, that you're going to start bringing in now chickens? Now chicks, mm. the, the ones that are, the chickens that are laying eggs, they are, how, how old are they? They, they, are, they, are, they are three batches in there. Yeah. It is one batch which is, which is, which is like nine months, yeah. another one. Another one, like one year, uh -huh. one, one year and a quarter, and yeah. another one is, 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 is making one year. Wow. Yeah. So when it's appropriate time, you guys are going to bring in the chicks yes, here? Yes, we're going to bring in. Wow. I like the organization. So this is the brother house. Yeah. Where we keep our day old one chicken. Wow. You come and I show you how it works. Uh -huh. So when you... When we when we bring birds, we mm. put in this plastic mat yeah. because birds, when when they are young, they can't hold on standing on these oh, okay. on these wires. Yeah. So we put in this one so that they can be able to stand yeah. very well. Okay. So these ones we put the, we put this this water. Yeah, you little, bring it a little bit we, down. We bring it a little a, li, a little bit down. Yeah. So that they can reach. Yes, they can reach and wow. drink water. Then, yeah. where do you now? Where do you now light the biogas? The biogas, you see, it yeah. is down here. Uh -huh. Let me see. There. Now see. this is the gas we use for wow. building, as you see. Wow! So it lights like this yeah. all all night long yes it can wow. you can see even other stoves there they, these are the stoves these are the stoves yes, wow. which provides it during the brooding period wow this is ingenious imagine this farm you have all these chickens okay you have these chickens they're producing eggs and then there is waste now what do you do with the waste msingi farm is maximizing on this waste 
They are turning this waste into biogas that will be used in the brooder house to provide warmth for the chicks. They are also using this biogas to cook. Wow, this is so ingenious. I've never seen anything like this. So, if you've watched this video up until this point, remember to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, comment down below so that we know what you're thinking about this modern mega poultry house. I've never seen anything like this. Folks, you can't make this up, man. Till the next one, a peace.